you have caught um, a lot of the top pitching prospects in this Blue Jays system. Obviously, you never really know when a pitcher is going to like fully click, but there's mm-hmm. definitely some talent in this organization. Uh, who are some guys that you have been behind the plate watching them pitch that Jays fans should be keeping an eye on? Oof, that's a, that's a tough question. There, there's a lot. Um, well, the the other the alternative is who are yeah. some guys Jays don't need to know about. So that's the tough <laughs> yeah, question. No, we won't make you answer that one. We won't make you answer that one. So this that's a tough. Bad. That's a tougher question. Uh, Zulu, definitely Zuleta. For sure, he's got electric stuff. Uh, I remember the first time I warmed up with him, I was like, he threw me like the first ball. He was like 60 feet away. I was like, oh, kind of got on me. It, like it kind of <laughs> caught me, and I was like, okay, I gotta, I gotta be ready for this. Um, and he was like 98 to 102 his first time. Wow, it was insane. Yeah, in Vancouver. And then uh, Ricky Tiedemann. Um, special he's got special stuff sim uh rovers special stuff really good kid very very pitcherish um what is what does very pitcherish mean oh he he can throw four pitches for a strike he understands his his strengths and his weaknesses really well especially for because he's not overly a velo guy right he's more the fact that he has that amount of pitches Right. And and he can throw all for strikes. Um, he knows where to start pitches to get guys to swing and miss. Um, yeah, he, he can really pitch. And I think Velo will come as he gets older and stronger and more mature. Uh, but Chad Dallas is another guy. Um, Adam Kloffenstein, Paxton Schultz, guys who can really pitch. Um, yeah, the list goes on and on. There's some some really good young pitchers in our, in our system. The guy should be excited about. Right on. Um, out of curiosity, buddy, when you got the call up to double a mid season, how did the team let you know? Did you, did, did you kind of see it coming? Um, yeah. Yeah. I, I had a pretty good idea that it was going to come pretty soon. Um, after the all-star break or right at the all-star break. And we were playing a Sunday game against uh, the Diamondbacks affiliate in Vancouver. Uh, I think it was like the seventh or eighth inning. Brent LaValle, manager in Vancouver, comes up to me after the inning. He's like, hey, you're done. I was like, why? Like, what's, what's going on? He's like, you just got called up. So he, he told me. Oh, they me, did it mid-game. <laughs> yeah. He told me in like the eighth inning of the game. Uh, and they took me out. And then I, I was there for the all-star break for two or three days. And then headed to new hampshire the day the first day back after the all-star break we really appreciate all of you within the walk-off community this thing continues to grow and become an animal it's of its own it's a little bit overwhelming but honestly we love talking blue jays baseball and all the interaction that you folks are involved with us thank you so much discord feel free to join it that is always free the show or uh, the link is in the show notes you can follow us on twitter at walk off podcast on instagram the walk off podcast and if you are watching on youtube currently and you're not subscribed We'd really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. All the best, everybody. Cheers.